getting ready for tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Get yourself connected. Getting ready for tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Join us. If you can't be there present, you can be there in the spirit, you can be there with your money. You can be here with your money, you can be here with your present. You can be here with your spirit. Getting ready for tomorrow's Thanksgiving. For tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Getting ready for tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Getting ourselves ready and prepared for tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you getting ready to join us tomorrow for tomorrow's Thanksgiving? Okay. I have a lot of kings and queens who they don't ask me to do work for them. Three times every year they do Thanksgiving. Some do it four times every year. They are not saying, uh, ask me to help me. They are not saying I need money. They just said, get some things, cook for the middle, and everybody around, let them eat. Understand the source of your own blessing and where your own blessing will come to you. Understanding matters a lot. Understanding matters a lot. Okay? Understand where your own will come through. Some of you who have prayed, prayed and prayed and did the spiritual work, why don't you try Thanksgiving? It's not as if the person that did work for you is a bad person or he, doesn't, or he or she doesn't know what to do. It's simply that you have not located what it is you need to do. Some of you will get blessing by giving to the less privileged, by giving to the widows. Some of you will get blessing by giving to people like me. Some of you will get blessing by cooking food, good, wonderful food, and go and share to the area. That is just it. You have tried this tactics. Tried it. Why don't you try a, a different approach? Our approach. Why don't you try this way? Why don't you try it? Since I started this journey, there are people who do Thanksgiving through me, with me, four times every year. They don't say, eh, please, ma, I want you to do work for me. I've always not understand that thanking, thankful, having a thankful heart pays. Having a thankful heart, it pays to have a thankful heart. I've always known that. Some of you knows how to pray very well. I don't know how to pray. I only know how to sing. I want to sing things happen. Some of you don't know how to sing, but you know how to do fasting. I want you to do things happen. Let us learn to follow our own way, not follow somebody's way. Let us learn how to follow our way, not following somebody's way. Okay? Let us learn how to do that. In one of my videos, I say something about the guy that bought me Nissan Amada. He started by giving me 1,000 naira. I said, please, ma. I said, I'm going to the water. I take this 1,000 naira, please. Help me. Even if it's only biscuit he can afford, buy. From 1,000, he graduated to 2,000. From 2,000, he graduated to 3,000. From 3,000, he graduated to 5,000. It's in the midst of that 5,000 he bought me this car. Understanding matters. He has been doing work before he met me. People have done work for him. Five years, a lot of women and men have done work for him before he met me. And I told him, why don't you try, try Thanksgiving? He said, ma, please, I don't have money. I said, 500 naira is money. 1,000 naira is something. 2,000 naira is something. 1 million naira is something. But start with something. Stop saying I don't have money. 
And he listening. There are people who listen. They listen, but they don't hear you. Some listen, they obey. Some listen for listening's sake. The other time, last year, I think early last year, I went to, uh, last year, last two years, I went to the beach, I said, 500 naira is something, if I'm going to the beach, send it to me. 500 naira. 1,000 naira is something. Some people will send it today, if I'm going to the water. They won't send again, till next year. If after two years, they won't send again. Consistency matters. Even a farmer have to go to the farm always to cultivate and to till and to remove grasses. They will do it. Immediately I say they will do it. Forget about it. They will not do it again. Only that one is okay. He has been doing that. As he bought me in his son, he started now doing Thanksgiving with 100,000. 200,000, say, get to the market, buy something, buy good goats, ram, cook, let everybody come and eat. And things are okay for him. I'm not somebody who say, bring money when you are coming. 500 naira is something. Some people, I said, buy a pack of mineral, a pack of Fanta and cocoa. Let the Fanta and cocoa be one pack, send it. And I'm happy many of them that are getting results. Yeah, I didn't do any work for them. I didn't do any spiritual work for them. If you have tried this, you have tried this. Uh, hey, try another way. Water doesn't owe you money. Water does not owe you money. Air, fire, earth does not owe you money. In fact, nobody owes you anything. Be grateful once in a while. Be grateful all the days of your life. Even if you are not saying, be grateful. Don't just wait till you get to one billion naira to come and thank God. No. Thank God when you have nothing. Try having a having a thankful heart. I was reading some of my posts this morning. I said, hey, please, uh, uh, can your mother give me money? I said, no. One type, uh, let your mother give me money. I didn't even bother answering him. <laughs> they don't understand that word, your mother. And thank God it's my mother. Is she owing you money? And when I ask people, get offended. Can you come to me who you don't know and said you need money? Am I owing you money? Can you simply go to a wealthy man, a rich man, or young and say, give me money? What have you done for them that they will give you money? What have you done to them for them that will warrant them to give you money? Change your approach. I've been saying that. Change the way you reason, change the way you talk. Change it. Stop saying people are fake. Stop calling people fake. Because uh, you are not being able to get what you want. And nobody owes your money. Nobody. You didn't keep your money anywhere. But one thing I know is that having a thankful heart, a grateful heart, open doors that will shock you. Having a thankful heart, a grateful heart, will help you. Thank you. Does not cost money. When I throw that challenge, I say, try it. Every day. Make it for six months. 500 naira is money. 1,000 is money. 2,000. Please, ma, as you are going by, if it's only, but if only, it's only chewing gum. Some will do it. They won't do it again. Only once. It's a pity. I've known a lot of people here on social media, I've known a lot of people in my life. They don't do, they just, they're just following me for following sake. And people who comes around me instantly get, uh, get blessings. Why those who have known me for a long time doesn't get that because of over familiarity. Others will come, they will get it. It happened also with people around my house. Maybe because I've become so much uh, those days. Maybe because I've gotten so much familiar with me. A lot of them were in my house for two years. Nothing. Because they see me, the way I lie down, the way I sleep, what I cook, how I eat. They don't see finish. And when they see finish, I've done that video time and time again. Over familiarity with your godmother, your godfather, your papa in the Lord, your mama in the Lord. 
Overfamiliarity has robbed a lot of people out of their blessings. Too familiar. I know I'm now. And people who doesn't know me, who just met me, are cashing out, making it. So, please, it will help you to change the way you reason. It will help you to change your reasoning, the way you talk, the way you think. Most times, nobody's doing you. Learn to say thank you. You no go die. You no go die. You not faint if you learn how to say thank you. Oh my God! No. So I'm getting myself prepared. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm getting myself prepared for tomorrow Thanksgiving. If you're around, come join us. Come eat with us. Come and laugh with us. Come and eat with your people in the meeting. Okay? Oh my God. Why? I beg, you not find me yawning competition. I beg. Come around. I encourage people when they are coming. Some people say, what do I say? Come with fruit. And when you are going, let it be good food. Don't buy rotten things when you are coming to the water. It can be anything. It can come with a bottle of honey. There's no particular thing somebody can use to go to the water. Come as your pocket fit carry you. Don't, don't just uh, keep in giving yourself wahala. Don't give yourself wahala. If you have and you are pretending you don't have, what I knows? Me, I don't know. I know they your pockets. If you have, and you can't claim say you don't get. Now what I know, not be me, no consign me or my own not to speak on your behalf, pray on your behalf. If you not can't get the claim, say you get, it consign you. So please come around. Come around. If you're around me, you can come around this evening. There's a lot of cooking to be done. In the morning, there's a lot of cookings to be done. Uh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Change your reasoning, no. This is a new year. Uh, give so you seed. You don't know which one is going to come up. It doesn't matter. It's just that, you know, sometimes people who live in abroad, I don't know the way. It's like when we when they live in Nigeria here, their eye will open. They understand what we are saying much more than the people that are living here in Nigeria. A lot of people, this person I'm doing Thanksgiving for tomorrow, this is my king. I didn't do any work for him. This is first Thanksgiving for the year. Every year he does three Thanksgiving. Some people do four. Some people do four Thanksgiving. I don't do any work for me. He was the one that bought me the Nissan Amada. He started with giving me 1,000. Please, ma, you posted that you're going to water. Please take it. He is always consistent. You need money. But you don't have the, I don't know how to say it. People have done work for you. People have done this. Thanksgiving does a lot of things. So it cures sicknesses. It opens doors. Being grateful. If you are doing spiritual work, your spirit doesn't want that. What do you do? Because I don't I know things are hard, but think like this, think like this. You don't have money, but you see, go and gather money to go and do spiritual work, which did not work for you. It's not that the spiritualist didn't do it, or the SN1, the native doctor didn't do it. Just that this is not what your spirit wants. Your spirit doesn't like that. Okay? A lot of people go and do okite. They make money. Many do okite. They don't see one naira to eat. Think. Eh? Acquire all the knowledge, do all the spiritual work, do all the being yourself ritually clean and not sleeping around and everything. If you don't have that heart of thanksgiving, forget it. Imagine you giving to people, giving, giving, and nobody is thanking you. Won't you feel sad? Won't you feel sad? Every video you see me doing, I've talked about this before. I'm still reminding those who just started joining me. Okay? Try and develop thanksgiving heart there is somebody who makes sure my phone is recharged he has been doing this over five years i said that i said that before 
Somebody has been responsible for paying my house rent for the past five years. One person. I've not talked about this before. What I'm talking about is so that you can kill him. I've not done any work for him. For the past five years, be paying my house rent. Once in a while, I said I need a phone on social media. Every year, he buy me two phones. Use it to be teaching. Do you think that person will lack? Or do you think he will tell me to pray for him? One person has been responsible of paying my house rent for the past five years. He doesn't comment on my post. He just watch video and go. When he started, I said, I will be paying your house rent. He didn't have any work doing. You people need to understand though. With that person now, he is my son. I will not say he is a, 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 my please take me as your son. No, there are people who, who are my sons, not because of anything. I've never done any work for him. I've talked about this time and time again. And some of you will just every time I don't have, I don't have. But you have money to gather and go and do spiritual work and it doesn't work for you. Why I post I need phone is that so that you can follow and grab into that. I am Yemaje. The meaning of Yemaje is mother of wealth. It happens. That is me. Everybody has their calling. That is my own calling. That is my me. You don't do, but you want. I take it. I receive it. He say, I claim it. I tap it. And you have been following me. You have been following a lot of S and ones over the years. You have been following a lot of uh, 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 Indians and okay. And what is going on in your life? Nothing. One person has been doing that. And somebody who come from so nowhere and said, Ma, I want you to be my godmother. Do you think the person is, uh, do you think that person is, is okay? You come from nowhere. I don't know you, you don't know me. And he said, you want, you want me to be, is that how you talk to your pastors? Is that how you talk to your daddy and the Lord? You want them to be your godmother. For what? You want to come and reap where you do not sow? It's not possible. The language of the of the rich has has always been always sound arrogant to the, the to the ear of the poor of the average man. When we talk, eh, hey, 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 no, I talk about money because I love money. Money stop bullshit. Without money, nothing goes. So I love to talk about money. And when I talk about money, you don't like it. Before you know it, I see many people watching me. And when I start talking about money, they start going down, down. <laughs> and I laugh at myself. I said, wow, what the fuck? Yeah. The language of the poor is, when they are talking to the rich, it sounds pathetic. But when they reach, when they reach, I'm not just talking about people who have money, people who have idea of where they are going, people whose intellectual mindset are rich. When they are talking to the poor, to the, to the average man, it sounds arrogant. She too, they do. Him too, they do. What are you talking about? If you get money to you go do, you go form. I treat that challenge at the beach. Dedicate yourself that every day, every every time I'm going to the water, you'll be giving me, if it's 500 or 1,000, try it for six months. And the lady that paid tight in dollars tried it. And many of them are doing that. The person that bought me Nissan Amada started with 1,000. Please, man, you are going to the water. If it's only soft drink, please help me and buy. Another word, another thing is being consistent in your promises. You got to suffer yourself a little bit to get up, to make it. Dedicate your time. But at all, at all, 1,000 naira, no go fail. Um, it's somebody that bought the recharge card that I'm using to talk. It's somebody that bought it. And that person dedicates his life to say, I must do it. You don't get it, Abby. The mysteries. You don't understand mysteries, right? If somebody will come out tomorrow and tell you, bring 10 million to carry 50 million. They'll scam you. You're happy. Change your mindset, though. Change your mindset for your own good, though. Change your mindset. 
I don't have, I don't have money, I don't have money. It's a creation. You are creating. And what comes back to you is I don't have money. Whenever you see me posting things on social media, it's for somebody to get connected to it. Somebody to get connected. I remember a lady sending me a recharge card 200 naira every week. 200 naira every week. It is a seed. Because that is what she has. 200 naira every week. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember some people sending me 5,000 naira every week. And they decide that if they call me, I don't pick it, then I've become arrogant. <laughs> And they have decided because they are sending me 5,000 every week. So if their child want to pull, they will call me. Then if I don't pick it, I'm a very dangerous and bad person. It's a pity. There are all kind of people in this world. There are all kind of people, all kind of people with all kind of mindsets in this world. People who, who are paying my rent, people who are buying me car, does not call me anyhow. Oh, don't think because you are giving me five cobble or you're giving me 10 million naira, then you have the right to call me as you like. No, you don't do that. You don't do that. Africans has a lot to learn from. People who buy me cars, if you see me where they talk to them, you go die. And then because I'll say you give me something, make I pray for you at the water, then you you now feel that you can call me anytime. And say anything anytime and invite me to all kind of your group or all kind of your gathering and expect me to come. Why am I your housemaid? Do I look like your servant? Okay. You people need to change your if you are going fast, somebody who is going higher. Our language they different though than people who are below. That is the way we talk. That is the way we dress. That is the way we spend. Okay? So if you want to make it in life, you got to change the way you talk. Change the way you think. Change the way you eat. Change the way you sleep. Change the kind of places you go to. Okay? Because in the land of the blind, a one-eyed man is a king. No, you should mingle with people who are greater than you. I've been doing that all my life. I mingle with people who are greater than me. The only difference you see between me and them is that my cloth no greater. My name is you. I've not been, this is not the way I speak when I was growing up. As a young lady, as a young girl, this wasn't the way I used to speak. As a married woman, then this wasn't the way I speak. But pain and shame and ridicule and the quest to get higher, to make it in life, made me to speak like this. And I know what my voice does to people. So I'm learning. Mm -hmm. I'm learning. I'm a learner. I learn from everybody. I learn anytime I go out. I said something in the past. I said, in my family, in my father's compound, in my family, I am the first person to get a car of my own. I am the first person to enter plane. And I promise my children will have a program every two, two years in my village. We are going to go to my village this year. And I promise my children they are going to enter plane. We are going to travel by flight. I have broken that. I have broken that uh, genes or cause in my family. And my children are going to break that. Then in my children's father's, uh, uh, grandfather's house, nobody from there has their own car. Nobody has entered plane from, the, from their grandmother's womb. So I have broken that for them. So this year, they are going to break that by entering flight. My children can drive. All my children drives, except the little small one in the secondary school. All of them drives. They drive. Do you understand what I'm saying? And some of you who go to the water, your children are at home going to church. What about your children? My children drives. My daughter drives. My twins drives. As in they drive very well. The one in the secondary school. 
He's not up to 16. He's not up to 15. Okay? When he becomes 16, I will teach him how to drive. My name is Yoko. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm the father and mother to my children. Okay? I'm not here to tell you, uh, eh, 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 no. I'm doing the work of a father and the work of a mother to them without complaining. So there are a lot of causes to break in your family. There are a lot of genes to break in your family. There is a lot of steps to take in your family. And you got to be the best, the first to take it. Because if you don't take it, no one can. Your brother take it, yes. You might not take it. And if you don't take it, your children won't take it. What you don't break, your children cannot break it. And tomorrow you force them to go and do all go yahoo plus to get your money, to get your things you're not able to get to yourself for yourself. You got to stay disciplined and be disciplined. You got to stay committed and be committed. This is not, let's, let's stop this. It's, it's my uncle that is doing me. It's my, my brother is a witchcraft in my family. No. You got to stay disciplined. And take that bold step and say, I should be a graduate. I must be a graduate. It doesn't matter. Come to Lagos here. Go to Mainland Hospital. You see a lot of young, handsome men and women emptying bedpan of old women that their sons and daughters are not in Nigeria. Cleaning, baiting those women, collecting good salaries to train themselves in the university, to train themselves in medical schools. And they don't complain. And here you are. My brother didn't help me. Oh my God. I want to know that. Do you know that sometimes if your brother or your sister doesn't help you, if your sister or your brother helps you, you cannot become who you are destined to be because what they will give to you is not enough. And you'll be so grateful with a peanut that you open a peanut shop to be selling peanut things and wear peanut clothes and enter peanut public transport. And you end up having peanut wife and husband and giving back to peanut children who are empty because you have been empty all your life. Some of you see disappointment. I said, oh my God, I don't get favor from any man. What are you talking about? Is any man, woman, your God? Oh, nobody, nobody to help me. I've gone through her, but you have weaven on your head. How much does it cost? You want, you want. And what are you willing to do to get it? And when I talk about sacrifices that you need to make, people think I'm talking about buy ram, buy go. No, sacrifices that you need to make to get to that place. Because people you see up there made a lot of sacrifices. Let's not remove this notion of it is all guego, it's money ritual. Stop that. I didn't do any all guego. Be relevant, be consistent, persevere, be passionate, keep dreaming. Are you telling me Dangote doesn't have godfather and godmother? He doesn't have a father and mother. He doesn't come from a witchcraft family too. Is that what they're trying to tell me? Are you telling me Andy Oba is not from Igbo land and his family, they don't have a evil uncles in his kindred? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That all these rich men and rich men, they just come from nowhere. What are you talking about? Why can't you? The first step is you starting to blame yourself. You got to blame yourself first. Learn to start blaming yourself. You should have done this. Look at where your mate is. What did you do to get there? Please, if you want to sleep around with men to get what you want, by all means, learn all the tricks on bed. Learn, watch a lot of uh, 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 blue films so that you can learn all the bedmatics. Be the best in your profession. That is your nature of in a bed. And as a man, you want to get money from sugar mummies. Please make sure you have very nice bola. Take care of your arm. So that you be the best gigolos. Because look around you, there are many of them who made money. Today they are multi-billionaires. I don't want to name names before Facebook go, 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 go slam me ban. Be the best. If you want to eat through gossip, I beg. Sharpen your mouth and learn how to gossip. Be the best in whatever you are doing. It's only about the back of the people. Buy your phone, but there's a way going on now. Stop saying it. Feed your chi. Feed your, your spiritual husband is angry with you. Not only you get spiritual husband. Your spiritual wife is angry with you. I beg, for what? What do you do? Didn't they agree for you to come to this world? So how will they now turn around to become angry with you? 
and go to the water that where you're incarnated from okay and do work so that it will go better for you a lot of people left their good paying job abroad to come here and today they are hungry because they don't understand what it is to be into tradition and culture or being a, a native doctor or being um or being a marine they weren't told and they left their well paying job to come and be doing what? Now hunger don't they wire them front and back. Please, I beg. This is in as much as we are in the we are still in the in the month of uh, vengeance. Learn to give. When your hand is like this, nothing comes in. It will always fall out. But when your hand is like this, it will enter. When you, your hand is like this, anything that comes out of your hand bounce down. I beg. Hey, my child was sick. My, I was telling you, you didn't pick. To come and do what? So I should be at your beck and call to pick your calls at all times. In Apuala. But you're paying tight somewhere, right? You're paying tight to your daddy in the Lord. And your mommy in the Lord. Building projects, you are there. And when you have problem, you remember me. You will call me, I go answer you. And the day I don't ask you, I become a bad person. For what one? I don't have a miracle. I don't have a miracle. That is if you want to. Uh, if you want to. You know, consign me. If you want. But before you say online as a one, your native doctors are fake. Check your life or you go not say your life not fake. Nobody's your housemate. Nobody's your servant. Okay. I gotta go. Okay, I'm still doing my preparation of uh, of going to the water tomorrow. Okay, I have a lot of things to go and get. So if you're around, come join us. Let's eat and merry. And okay, there's gonna be a lot of eating tomorrow. Rice and stew will be very plenty, plus including meat and everything. Me now, they chop meat like that. I wonder, it's gonna be so crazy tomorrow. Okay, so come and join us. All right, Manezio.